Hello everyone, welcome back to Pony Fantasy 6. I started this playthrough a little month ago, or a little over a month ago, and this will be the last video of this playthrough for sure. Uh, I held a poll uh, last uh, video, but uh, we're not, I'm not going to reveal the results until uh, when they're going to be relevant. Anyway, for, the, for once we're going to have a Team Crusader, aka Team, they're not going to be able to do anything because uh, the first team isn't doesn't have any battles to really do and Scootaloo's gonna have a scooter on. Uh, for here, we're gonna put the team that I made up on the spot and uh, for here, we're gonna put a team exchange Rainbow Dash here and... Ah, uh, right, that's Scootaloo's the other one. Uh, well, in that case, I'm gonna keep Faust here, put Celestia here and put Lulu here. Yep, Trixie, Rarity and Pinkie Pie are gonna have to sit back and uh, wait for the others to get done in the meantime. Let's go! Uh, given that we're going through the final boss as well as a few other bosses in this video, and this is definitely going to be a video that's going to be over an hour long. Because it'll also include the credits, and uh, Final Fantasy VI had pretty long credits for its time anyway. Not even going to... Just put horse. No, not horse shoes. Actually, uh, hmm. Wing shoes and scooter. Except, actually, no. I better equip these got these uh, three fillies uh, with the uh, actual equipment because when the final battle starts, you don't get a chance to. I don't, I think you don't get a chance to re-equip all your characters. So hold on a moment. Okay, these three are ready. They have the, I believe they have the longest path to walk, so it makes sense for them to have the scooter and everything. Going from here. All the way up here. Down here. Oh uh, man, it's so nice not to have to deal with against any random battles right now. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I gotta check something. Faust, put your merit award on. Ah, uh, I was kind of hoping that someone with the merit award could actually equip the scooter, which means that uh, we could literally skip the entire dungeon without ever dealing against any random battles. But uh. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, all the teams are ready. Let's go and finish the final dungeon. Uh, I think the team 2 right here is pretty much the most decked out team. Uh, the only thing they're weak uh, in is that uh, AJ hasn't really gotten all the huge training that I gave all the other characters, so... She's a little behind. And the Shin Shiro isn't that great. And really, Celestia? Sour mount on Celestia. Of course! Now I got a healer. There we go. Now let's proceed through the same steps we took the first time we were here. Which thankfully means we don't have to take all the treasure chests yet again. I'm just gonna run from this. Anytime! Faust uh, ran away first because uh, she's level 63. There we go. Took her long enough. Took long enough. Wait, actually. Yeah, Celestia still has the Rainbow Rock. Uh, safety bit. Rainbow Band, Gold Main Pin, Flash Gem. Oh, I think Rarity still has the uh, X Magic uh, Gold Tiara thing. Considerably less HP, but whatever. Weapon is still gone. Uh, I can deal with these guys. Uh, one of them will probably kill one of my ponies because of trade-off, but uh, I'll deal with it. Yeah, Faust is pretty much the number one character right now. 
Hmm, still not dead? Trade off. Really? I didn't give AJ the uh, memento band? I guess I must have given her something else. Two. I did give her the memento band, and it, yet it did protect her from trade off. That's that's junk. Let's give her the safety bit then. Maybe that'll pr help her protect herself uh, even better. Pressing the switch again. Now the Crusaders can proceed further into the dungeon of a. Uh, Fun mysteries and uh, chaos. Oh wait, that's right. I took off the scooter from Scootaloo. Put your scooter back on, Scoots. There we go. And now I can't proceed further because there's some garbage in the way. How inconvenient. Actually, let's continue with Twilight. Over here. Up here. No, deal, don't have to deal with against the... Uh, I don't think that was the zombie dragon location, rather the gold dragon, but... Whatever the dragon was there, we don't have to deal against it uh, this time. I don't think I've presented these enemies before, and I don't care. It's pretty obvious that they're just uh, easy enemies that uh, don't need really need to be dealt with. There's a lot I want to say right now in terms of complaints, but I'm gonna keep it for the credits because the credits are long. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna show what uh, these guys can are capable of. They're pretty strong. Well, actually, no. What am I saying? They're not strong at all. They're actually pretty weak. Uh, they all, most of them have less than 3,000 uh, HP. Well, I guess this doesn't mean they're weak. It mostly means that they're, uh, they haven't been super trained for the Cesar Dragon battle, where uh, I needed a minimum of 5,000 HP to be able to enter or something. Come to think of it. Yeah, there's something broken I want to show you guys, but I, I'll only be able to do it through the Team 2. That wasn't too tough. I could probably skip most of this section, but uh, I still have a little bit to talk about. I think I have to save here, just in case. Uh, I'm gonna heal with a tent, too. And I'm gonna save in file number three. Just because. Almost at the switch. Right over here. Ah, uh, really? There we go. Now the Crusaders can proceed right to the end of their section. From what I heard, Bloom is actually pretty strong in higher levels, but uh, I don't think we'll ever be able to see it in this playthrough. See through here, Derpy. Yeah, I think this is where we have to fight the Star Dragons. Wherever it was. Wait, did I say Star Dragons? Ah, uh, really? Commentary, Derp. Okay, Scoot. Uh, I mean, uh, Bloom. You are going left, because you don't want to fight anything. Twilight, get out of the way. It's a good thing this uh, puzzle reset itself magically, because uh, otherwise uh, we won't be able to get anywhere in this dungeon anymore. How convenient. Ah, uh, maybe I'll be able to show my trick here. Yeah, Scullion's a pretty powerful foe. Uh, except I can't show my trick against him because I haven't prepared for it. So, let's get out of here.
Faust, you do not want sorcery anymore, you want Bushido. And you have a sword equip? Yeah, you have the Holy Avenger. Ah, whatever. Really, Twy? By reading a book? That's how you're gonna push this uh, four-ton uh, thing? I guess she's magically uh, lifting it up, but uh, it's still kind of derpy. Come on, I want a random battle. There we go. And it's always against Scullion because that's the only enemy that appears in this section. Anyway, the trick I wanted to show you guys is that uh, both Faust and AJ can use Zap Apple, the, the level 8 Bushido. Now, if my theory is correct, and uh, AJ doesn't die. Yeah, she don't die. Now, Faust is using Zap Apple right now. Which means time is frozen for her. But while time is frozen for Faust, we can take all our time we want to charge AJ's Bushido. Uh, can I accelerate here? Now, uh, AJ is not going to use Bushido uh, Zap Apple yet, but. Uh, she, she will use it as soon as a Faust uh, can't uh, do anything, or has uh, finished her turn. Now, watch as I use, uh, or rather waste, uh, Faust's uh, Bushido with, uh, or rather her Zap Apple effect, using this twice. And now AJ immediately loses a uh, Zap Apple for herself! Isn't this great? Now look at this! It's already Faust's turn again! So I can charge Faust's Zap Apple right away! Which means when AJ's Zap Apple is finished, Faust will use Zap Apple herself. Just, I'm gonna show it in action as soon as it happens. <laughs> Do you guys see how broken this is? The enemy never gets to act using this strategy, ever! They will never ever do anything because your character is const- your, your Faust and AJ are constantly y casting quick, quote-unquote, uh, right after each other. The only uh, thing the enemy can do is uh, do uh, revenge moves, like, uh, or counter moves if you prefer. So, I believe if I used this strategy during the Cesar Dragon uh, fight, I would have beat him a lot easier because uh, I would only have to deal against his counters and nothing else. We might be able to see this, uh, this strategy and effect during the final battle, uh, but uh, unfortunately that's not, not what the poll says. Even so, the fact this is completely broken is insane. Now AJ is using Zap Apple. Uh, I'm not gonna waste any more time, uh, just gonna finish the battle. It is very interesting to see how overpowered Double Zap Apple is. Thunder Edge. Huzzah! Oh goodness, that's a really powerful, uh, I guess this enemy is weak against lightning. And there goes the Atomic Ray, because that's what this enemy does after it dies. Okay, that was the broken strategy explanation I wanted to do. Let's finish this dungeon, and this game. Uh, gotta go behind. Really? Okay, let's finish the Crusaders first. Ah, yeah, we get another save point. And unequips uh, the scooter from Scootaloo because she's definitely not going to need it in the final battle. Uh, what can I give her though? Guess I'll give her a Wonderbolt badge. Scootaloo is a Wonderbolt before Rainbow Dash ever will be. Uh, we'll start with Twilight to finish their section. Against their boss, which hopefully won't destroy us. Yeah, we're using the super broken team. So I guess we will be able to see the my strategy in effect. 
against Goddess. That is a nifty sprite change. Earth Wall. I don't think we'll need that, but, uh, you know, whatever. It's fine where it is. Uh, I kind of hate cheesing this boss, but uh, I've always hated it in the original, and uh, I'll always hate it, even uh, when its strategy has probably been changed into something even possibly more frustrating or less frustrating. Hmm, what are you going to do, Twilight? Uh, just cast Ultima. You have the magic points to spare. Meanwhile, uh, AJ is going to... Royal Voice! Yeehaw! Someone wanted to know that uh, AJ would rather say Yeehaw instead of Huzzah while using the Royal Voice. And hopefully this enemy is not weak, uh, I mean strong against ice. They are not. Uh, but they do heal when they get hit by a Holy Land, Celestia. Twilight is going to be stuck reading her book this, the entirety of this fight, and holy crap, uh, Faust is dealing tremendous amounts of damage. Like, she's dealing 20,000 roughly... Yeah, 20,000 roughly per... no, 24... T no, no, actually, I am right, she's dealing insane amounts of damage every time she attacks, and uh... Like, she's dealing roughly 4,500 damage... But her flurry? Or hit from the flurry. Ah, here we go. Love token. Now Celestia is forced to protect a uh, goddess from uh, physical attacks. Something like that, anyway. Hopefully, uh, Celestia won't protect a uh, goddess from flurry. Nope. So, basically, uh, goddess's uh, entire shtick uh, has no uh, effect uh, against us. I'm pretty sure Goddess uh, counters with Love Token when you attack her physically. Is it? It's what it is. Hmm. Okay, I might have been wrong about how broken my strategy is. Uh, considering, uh, really, Celestia, you attacked yourself. Considering the boss uh, did uh, react uh, to some attacks a few times. Even so, uh, charging up uh, the other character's Zap Apple while someone is already in a Zap Apple effect is really broken. Okay, let's see how much damage Faust is doing exactly. Roughly 18,000 per flurry. And since she does it twice in a row after using Zap Apple, that means she deals roughly 36,000 damage per Zap Apple. That is super broken. The Cesar Dragon would have likely uh, resisted ice attacks though, so it probably wouldn't have worked as well on him, unless we gave uh, Faust a mirror to ward, but that would take a bit of a... Uh, uh, really? Why did I tell Celestia to attack Goddess yet again? And now uh, Goddess won't get to react anymore because uh, AJ has done her Zap Apple. I know all these final bosses uh, will be a kind of a joke, because, but after fighting the Cesar Dragon, what isn't? The Cesar Dragon was pretty much the ultimate uh, effort from the ROM hacker to make the most difficult boss battle ever, and we beat that. Barely, but still. It's nice to see this boss has way more uh, HP than uh, an actual uh, enemy is allowed. Because I'm pretty sure the maximum amount of HP an enemy can have in this game is 65,000, roughly. So I think the ROM hacker, what he did is that every time a boss uh, loses 65,000 HP, they summon another version of themselves that uh, basically exchange themselves instantly and uh, gets back 65,000 HP. Something like that. That's what I think. It 
it might not be like that. I don't know about the inner codings about Final Fantasy VI. But I'm assuming it's something like that. Oops. Wrong Bushido DJ. Yeah, it makes sense that this boss absorbs water. I mean, she is on a pearl clam, and clams are related to water quite a bit. Also, overcast. This accursed will follow you forever. Oh, it's condemned. Uh. Yeah, better react fast. Life 3 on yourself, Faust. And now Faust is dead. Oh no, it's a zombie effect! Uh, I didn't expect that. And... Did Faust just cast Ultima on us? Oh no, on the boss, thankfully. And um, revivify. Dang it. So now it's all up to AJ. To think, Zombie would uh, screw me over yet again. Yeah, this, uh, I wasn't expecting uh, to get completely screwed like this, I'll be honest. And hopefully, uh, Faust or uh, Twilight, oh wow, thank you Twilight, except uh, now uh, AJ's gonna do a revivify on uh, Faust too. Protect me. It's nice to see that this boss is putting up a challenge despite the fact uh, that uh, we have a super broken strategy for it. Yeah, better... Because Faust can't use items. You can't make a zombie love you, goddess. It won't work. Especially not a zombie, uh, Celestia. Quasar, we already know all about that. It's not that great. Well, it deals okay damage, I guess. But we have like a... We have uber regen effects on. Well, that took long enough. Wow. I kind of... I, I'm kind of fearing for the other team right now because uh, considering this is our most broken team, uh... I'm not too sure how the other team will fare. Yeah, I'm not how, uh, too sure how the final boss battle will be. But considering we were able to beat one before fighting the Star Dragon, we should be fine. Unzombify yourself, Celestia. Cure three on everyone. Kent. Save. There we go. Now it's time for Team Derpy. But before fighting their statue, they have to fight the Guardian. Uh, if I recall, it's Chekhov's enemy is what something we should call this because uh, we actually saw this enemy much earlier in the game. But uh, now we're at the point where we'll finally be able to actually defeat it. And we can throw some stuff at it. Tech laser. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this team right here is all decked out as much as I hoped they would were. Uh, throw a thunder blade. Actually, I better... Really? That's all the magic points you have, uh, Lulu? 
included battle program. Grand Ultra's battle program. Does that mean he's gonna use tentacle against us? Huh. Bit strange. I wasn't expecting to be able to do the Felix Flash twice in a row. Also, the pace of this battle is tr a lot faster than the the one with Goddess for some reason. Like, probably because I'm not charging up for uh, Zap Apple all the time. Well, that was that boss, boss battle. I don't think this boss got uh, like uh, buffed at all, so kind of not uh, that surprising that it was as easy as uh, as it was. We don't even get anything for it, so makes sense. Don't know why I made the uh, Lulu cast tier 3. Well, I guess I'll give her the sleeping bag. It has been pestering me. And save. Alright, one more statue and then it's the final battle. I don't know why this exists. Like, what is over there? I have no idea. Probably a way out, I guess. Oh, two treasure chests. We see the Kodo and a Hurricane. Uh. Come on. For some reason, no one has the ultimate weapon equipped. Anyway, Koto... It's a sword! It's the Masamune for AJ. Oh man, it is much more powerful. Huh. Okay, Derpy, let's proceed further. Oh, it's the statue was right here. Against victory! And I think Victory is gonna do some uh, shenanigans with the uh, status effects, maybe. Seems like it. And it seems to have affected uh, both Lulu and Derpy already. And uh, Blaster is an instant kill. Gotta be careful with that. Uh oh, okay, so uh, basically what this uh, enemy does uh, right here is that they stop one of our characters and then uh, basically uh, blaster them. That That's what seems to be the strategy so far. Yeah, tri triple bar! Except the boss just stopped, uh, oh, but it didn't work on uh, dash, thankfully. Oh, triple bar makes makes a dash do a summon. That's kind of cool, I guess. Because I'm completely pointless, and I just realized that dash doesn't have a rainbow band on for some reason. Shrapnel. Ow. Danes might not be looking so up. The issue I have right now is that uh, Lulu is the only caster, and she's not all that strong. Probably because I didn't give her all that many uh, defense equipment. By dash. Cure three because you can't really Reiki all that effectively. Better keep the offensive up. Thunderblade. How? Well, so far this boss doesn't seem to be too bad. Well, you can osmose the boss if you want, Lulu, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. Since Lulu doesn't have the X magic effect, uh, the quick, quick uh, trick I did with Rarity in the battle against uh, Cesar Dragon isn't really all that effective. Triple Chocobo! Ah, oh, shot all yet again. Well, thankfully, uh, Fluttershy is extremely resilient. And I've, yeah, I don't know why, but Dash doesn't have any haste or whatever effects. And now uh, Lulu's gonna die. Yep. 
Phoenix down. Throw. Mitchell knife. This is gonna be a long boss fight. And that was terrible luck for Lulu. Hmm, wave cannon. Really? Lulu never... Oh, goodness. Trying to get Lulu back up, but she keeps dying all the time. Because Victory keeps acting the instant I uh, put get her back up. Sheesh. Again, with the annoying, uh, you have a lot of trouble to get back uh, NPCs, uh, not NPCs, uh, playable characters back from the wounded status effect because uh, Phoenix Down is the only way to revive a character for ponies who can't use magic and they suck at it. Uh, time to Reiki. Ah, uh, that's no good. Yeah, one of the cool things about Reiki is that uh, it heals status effects. That's why it's a lot better to use than uh, most of the things to heal. And it doesn't cost any magic points, either. Where is it? Dang, where is it? Ah, there we go. Better put a Phoenix down on the Jerpy when I have the chance. Or just fight uh, with Dash while uh, Lulu casts life too. That's all the damage. Well, actually, yeah, she is kind of weak right now, so... Dash isn't going to deal that much damage with the ultimate weapon, but uh, a lot better than her current weapon. Hmm. Maybe it'd be, it'd be better if I gave Derpy the ultimate weapon? Maybe. Crystal. Bite. Or maybe I should do Soar. It deals a lot more damage if I Soar. Really? I'll throw a cupcake at it! Well, good avoid onto the wave cannon right there, uh... Dash. Except the wave cannon doesn't deal all that much damage anyway. Okay, Lulu, you're gonna have to give us some insurance right now. You know, before stuff like uh, Flare Star right here happens. It won't decimate us, but uh, I kinda wanna make sure that uh, I survive a uh, last ditch move from that boss, such as, you know, Ultima on everyone. Uh oh. Thankfully, Dash and Flutz have lots of uh, defenses against uh, magic right now. I think it's because I gave it the uh, magic shields. That may be why. Lulu, on the other hand, is a... Uh... Yeah, here we go. Medio. Oh, goodness gracious. down. Just sword dash. Please don't shrapnel everyone, boss. Really? My goodness. What does the boss... What does every enemy have against Lulu? Actually, you know what? Instead of a... 
Uh, whatever. And now the boss uh, managed to stop uh, Dash. Thank you. the last crystal. And now Flare Star again. Well, as long as it's not medial where it'll be fine. Crystal. Stop on Uh will it work I think? Yeah it worked on the flare shy. And why did I don't get it. I was waiting for Lulu to do Reiki so uh, could, uh, Dash could uh, jump right after it, but uh, instead, uh, uh, seems the boss doesn't care that the uh, Shy is completely stopped. At least for the time being. Now that I remember, I think I cast Life 3 on uh, Shy, so she should be fine. Even if the boss uses Blaster on her. Ah, uh, there we go. Mage Blade. That's all the damage you can do to her piece, seriously? I think Shock does much more damage. Alright, this is a lot better. Yeah, they're gonna need to stick with Lulu in the defensive mode because she she gets hurt the most. Actually, you know what? I I don't know why I haven't done it earlier. I should just uh, unequip uh, Lulu's second weapon and uh, give her a shield. It makes things a lot easier on her. Because she's never attacking normally anyway. She uses the royal voice all the time. Page played. Magic shield. Now she's protected against the elements. See that? She blocked it. Behold the power of the magic shield. Behold the power of super high magical evade. I think Fluttershy is like 105, which is why she's so well defended. Rune blade. Okay, I think we can go all out on the offensive now. Psych rip. Uh, what does that do? And, uh, Derpy's gonna die. Well, maybe not. Seems the boss is, uh, tired of using Blaster. Or, uh, maybe not. Down. Thankfully I got so many. I remember when I had only eight the first time I was fighting the Cesar Dragon. That's how I knew I had to buy a lot more. Uh, better put Ludo on healing. Uh, wave Cannon, seriously? Thankfully, uh, Derpy is invisible against that. I wonder how much damage uh, throwing the vampire will do. I'm not expecting a lot. Uh, geez, Flare Star, really? Well, it heals Derpy. She has a crystal shield on. Assassin. And now Dash is dead. Derpy, uh, sore Derpy, because uh, I want to make uh, Lulu cast life too, because it's a lot better than uh, just using a Phoenix down. Uh, 
And... Flourish Eyes Life 3 is gonna kick in right now, thankfully. Wait, that's it? Okay, uh, that was a bit of an anticlimactic finish. I wasn't... Uh, I was expecting this fight to last a whole lot longer, but uh, I guess throwing all those weapons at it uh, really paid off. And now all the three statues, which are all the source of magic, are all down. What does this mean? The statues are broken, but magic hasn't been affected. Has Discord somehow drained their power? It must be it. Just in case, I'm going to unequip the ultimate weapon from Dash right here. Uh, quickly heal her. Okay, let's proceed further into the dungeon. Well, there's a save point right here. I should have just used that instead. Tent. Yeah, this this is what it is. If we go down by here, this is how we go back through here. That's all I didn't to know. Anyway, pressing the switch, and we're finally going to the final cutscene of the game. Before the final battle, anyway. The actual final cutscene is the one after the final battle. Hello, my little ponies! <laughs> you should see the looks on your faces! Priceless! How are you enjoying my new look for Equestria? We've seen enough. It's too dark. Chaos is a wonderful, wonderful thing! Observe! Your ponies are the most fun I've had in eons! Think of it! A world with no rules, no plans, just chaos! Pure freedom! You mean a world with no peace, no love, no hope? Why do ponies even try? Their lives are so short and meaningless. Their only use is to entertain the true master of Equestria, me. Just think how meaningless each of your lives is. It's not about living for yourself. Every day is its own paradise. Simple joys like sharing a laugh with a friend, smelling a beautiful flower, or reading a good book. Joy is being true to yourself, working hard, and sharing kindness. You managed to find paradise amidst the sea of chaos you call life? Yes! I've learned what true friendship can be. I've learned to let go of the past and start living for the future. My family lives on in my heart. I've learned you have to step out of the shadows to make a difference. I dream of peace that will last a thousand years. We have remembered the love of our sister once more. And I have a big sister who loves me. Uh, for those of you wondering if Rarity was there, she would have said something and uh, Sweetie Belle would have followed, but uh, unfortunately I didn't bring Rarity. My friends wings and drew dreams to fly too. You're never truly alone as you long as you keep an open heart. Ah, uh, screwed up too many voices. Oh, gag! Go ahead, try and use your pathetic little friendship magics. Just make it quick. I'm missing some excellent chaos here. Discord, you're not playing fair. Stop! The light of judgment in action. Fair? 
Perhaps we haven't met on Discord, Spirit of Chaos and Disharmony! I will turn this world inside out and upside down. Life, as you know it, will cease to exist. Life will never give up. There will always be ponies and dreams. No, it is mine to command. You are all savages. Your world will reject you. I will create a monument to eternal chaos. You will never kill anyone ever again, Discord. We won't allow it. <laughs> it seems you have found some courage after all. Allow me to take it from you, painfully. I don't know what's with the triangle that Discord is in. I never figured out what it was re supposed to represent. I guess it's just a new special effect to represent how powerful he is right now. You can't stop us. You can't stop us as long as we stick together. Oh. Well then. I was expecting uh, all the other ponies to come in and uh, suddenly uh, go ahead and uh, do the final battle with us, but. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a problem because uh, the pony who won number three is Rarity with seven boats and she's not in our team right now. So hold on a moment guys, I'm gonna have to restart this thing all over and uh, get it done with Rarity. Oh really? I see Kodo. Hurricane! What is Hurricane? It's a Lance! Hurricane! It's a Lance, that's what it was. Sheesh. Can't believe I missed that. Okay, uh, back here, uh, I need to uh, like inform you guys about something. Pinky and Scootaloo lost the poll, and I should never have brought them in the first place. That is all. Well, I'm gonna say Trixie and Rarity's line here because I brought them. Already said that. Trixie has met someone who really cares about her. I have a brave little sister, and I have a big sister who loves me, and that's pretty much it. Okay, back here. Now, the actual winners of the poll. Twilight was number one, Faust was number two, actually tied with uh, Twilight at eight votes. Rarity was number three with seven votes. Lulu was fourth with five votes. Celeste and Fluttershy had four votes each, so Celeste, Fluttershy. AJ had three votes, so did Bloom. And Sweetie Belle, two votes. Derpy and Tr Dash also had two votes. And so did Trixie. And basically, Sweetie Belle, Derpy, Dash, and Trixie all had two votes. So that's our final team! Final battle, go! Oh yeah, we're playing with the super overpowered ponies right now. Not even... What, seriously? Oh, jeez. What is Lulu gonna do? She's pretty much the weakest party member over here. Actually, Twilight is definitely morphing right away. Even though she doesn't necessarily need it. Now Rarity is gonna take care of all the Life 3 slash uh, Remedy things. Remedy... Life 3... Actually, I'm going to put uh, Lulu on healing duty, because that's what she does best. However, it is important to keep Twilight and Rarity uh, in this team, because, no, Twilight, Faust, and Rarity in this team, because they're pretty much some of the most overpowered characters that I can have. Damn it, Celeste. Anyway, I guess I ought to start explaining uh, this fight uh, and what what it is. That uh, really, a remedy here. 
Basically, uh, the final fight against uh, in Final Fantasy VI is uh, a fight against uh, three. Like uh, you're fighting against uh, Discord's Tower of Chaos, I guess, in this version or something like that. And what you have to do is you have to defeat every uh, tire of this tower. And this is the first tier. Uh, it's supposed to be an analog. This whole fight is supposed to be an analog to uh, what is it? What is it? It's a uh, Dante's Inferno. That's what I think it's an analog for. The current phase we're starting with, for example, is actually uh, roughly the equivalent of uh, the devil or something like that. It's hard to explain when you don't have text in front of you. I've explained this before. Magic shield. Oh, reverse polarity. Whatever, will I do? Uh, despite the fact you'd think the head would have a lot more HP than the hands in this uh, current fight, I don't think that's the case. I think they all have roughly the same amount of uh, life with each other. I think it is. Maybe one of them has like a lot less life. I think the shorter hand has the least amount of life. They all have a like a last ditch move, of course, even the hands. And I ought to expect them. Osmos. Oh, by the way, uh, have I mentioned that uh, the team playing right now, the final boss teams, is one of the most amazing final boss teams in all RPGs forever? Like, right now it's a simple, uh, pretty simple team, but uh, it becomes amazing over time. Let me tell you what. Like, three... Life 3 isn't all that great right now because uh, it doesn't protect against petrification, but uh, it will protect us from last ditch moves that will try to kill us. That's the funny thing too, because uh, against the Czar Dragon I wasn't so much concerned about uh, stuff like uh, last uh, instant kill move like Blaster and stuff. I was more concerned about status effects, and wow, uh, Twilight basically got to do nothing with her morphed form. I'm kind of sad right now. It's all because uh, the pace of the battle uh, slows down tremendously when uh, someone uh, does uh, quick stuff. Anyways, pretty much using Ultima all the time is uh, the strategy we have to do here. Nothing else, really. And use your best items, because there won't be another chance to use them ever. Where are the Sarsaparillas? Right here. I guess it'd be better if I just used the uh, Osmos, but uh, still. Ultima! Power up! Uh oh, here comes Quake! Ow! I hope I don't lose this already somehow. Oh, that's it for this phase. One more Ultima and that's all it took. Anyway, each time you defeat one of the tiers, you rise up to the next one. I think since Faust was in the middle of uh, her quick effect, or zap apple effect rather, she'll still be able to act immediately, but I'm not sure. Anyways, the most amazing thing about... It's not going to happen right now, but uh, the most amazing thing about this fight is that uh, the music will change for each tier you change into. Uh, no, uh, Rarity, uh, Faust lost her quick effect, unfortunately. I don't like what this Diffuser thing is doing right now. Oh, by the way, uh, it looks weird, but we're against four characters right now. Like, uh... One... Ah, oh, really? Faust and Rarity got frozen? And now Faust is zombie. Thankfully, she's a frozen zombie, so she won't attack us. And thankfully, Rarity uh, unfroze pretty quickly. Okay, what to do right now? Ah, see? The music changed. This is what I like about this uh, uh, final boss battle. The music changed for each tower you change to. And there's a team for every freaking uh, tier. Now, what do I want to do that will uh, not jeopardize my safety? I guess I'll try to cast slow too. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? 
It's time to experiment, as I said. And Ultima, everyone. Uh, yeah, you do. Freaky as usual. Ah, I failed against everyone. What a waste. You take these status effect uh, spells against enemies would be more effective more often, but no, they have to be invincible against all of them, or most of them anyway. Hmm, maybe I should cast Force Field. Nah, I'm not that cheap. At least not right now. If I get a game over, I'll probably will be that cheap after. Osmos, then... Actually, you know what? Double Osmos. Double the fun! I think what the, this tier represents is, uh, like, uh, mankind and the animals and machinery. I think that's what it represents. Oh, and by the way, everyone in here looks, uh, has like a Kefka's face from the original Final Fantasy VI. That was kind of important for the imagery, I believe. Cure three. Quick. I really don't like this Norton Frost spell. Really? I really don't like this uh, part of the fight because you're against four foes and they use a uh, zombie... Well, not... I don't think they use it zombie effects in the original, but uh, they use lots of status effects and they act a lot faster than you'd expect. Finally, Twilight finally gets on with it and uses her Revivify. Took long enough. Uh, this is gonna basically cause zero HP heal. There we go. And this is what I wanted to uh, Rarity to do. And then she's gonna cast quick. Which means she will be able to... I'm gonna just charge up uh, Fafsa's Bushido in the meantime. Revivify. X magic. Ultima. Osmos. Maybe? Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll cast Osmos. It's totally not an option spell or anything. Pow. Of course, like the previous tier, uh, every enemy here, or most of the enemies here, have a last ditch move they'll obviously use when they're near to death. Both three, that's it. Thankfully, uh, Lulu had her uh, magic shield on, because otherwise she might not have survived that. Did it just petrify rarity? Yeah. And now Southern Cross. That's a fire move, which means Lulu is gonna resist it. Or not gonna work on her at all. This 10 hits move, I don't think it's actually 10 hits. I think what it is that uh, it's a move called 10 hits followed by nine battle commands. I think that's what it is. Please survive, Lulu. That's it? That's all you wanted to do? Uh, probably because she was still in zombie. Well, Faust, it's up to you to heal your, uh, one of your creations. Thankfully, uh, yeah, it's not zombie you have to heal, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to do anything. Just cast Ultima, Lulu. Just cast Ultima. Um... Yeah, I'll just cast Ultima. Just cast Ultima! That's all you have to do for this, uh, final battle. Cast Ultima all the time. Instant win. It's just that it's super effective when you're against four foes. That's the thing. I think one of the things are dead. No, not quite. Gravity Bomb! Don't know why that's not a... Well, maybe it is, but, uh, I don't think it is, uh... It costs, uh, HP in half. Hmm. Southern Cross is completely useless. Please, my foes, do more completely useless moves. And wow, thank you for blocking that, Faust. Here, two. Quick. Oh, 
One down. Yep, there's only three enemies down. Uh, the animal head is what uh, died right now. Speaking of which, that animal head, uh, I think it's one of the... It's the Royal Voice uh, uh, animation... Uh, sprite. Words. Rasp. Did they just cast Rasp on everyone? Seriously? Are you done? Finally. Now we have to Osmos again. Osmos the man, I guess. Okay, Faust, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna do Flurry, because you're really powerful with that. There's only four enemies left, so... Look at all that damage. And no one resists Ice Effect for some reason. That's one, another down, only two left. Oops. Well, I guess I'll use this to demo what happens when you try to use Zap Apple twice in a row. It just fails. Same thing if you try to cast quick while you have a Zap Apple effect on. Diffuser, I think it might actually remove life 3. I'm not sure though. This 10 hits move is really annoying because it never seems to end. Cure 2. And quick. Being best pony, Lul uh, not Lulu Web. It's too bad! If uh, Rarity had one extra magic points right now, she could have used Ultima, but no. She had to have 248 instead. So I guess I'll just cast Slayer on one of these enemies. There's only uh, two left anyway, so Ultima is not that great anymore. I think what we're targeting right now is the machinery. That's the thing be uh, between the two uh, humans, or all the humans. All Oh yeah, this thing's definitely dead. When it dies, it always uh, does 10 hits. And what 10 hits is, is that uh, it's a move that starts with an attack all 10 hits, followed by 9 battle commands. It's uh, it's kind of weird. I saw that uh, in a fact somewhere. Yeah, all we have to fight the uh, left is right here. Oh, and uh, Rarity is still in her quick effect. I just realized that. Uh, just gonna cure 2 Lulu. Followed by Flare on this thing. There we go. Tire 2 finished. That wasn't so bad. Uh, I guess I should explain something else. If your character is down or out of the battle uh, when uh, you're changing between uh, transitioning between the tiers like this, they actually get replaced by the next person in line. That's why they told you to decide between 12 characters at the beginning. Anyway, uh, totally not a Christian reference right here. Tire 3! We're against uh, Girl and uh, Restless or something like that. We want to target Girl first. Because she con continuously does that. Osmos, quick. I don't know why I'm even bothering doing anything with the uh, Faust right now. Because Rarity is gonna completely scrub her turn. Huzzah! Okay, Rarity. I'm pretty sure Girl only has... Actually, you know what? Wait, let's scan her. Let's scan Girl. Or whatever her name is. Maybe I should call her Mary. Yeah, I figured I can't probe these targets. It's the final battle. Ob obviously, the, the designers didn't want us to know about how weak this character really is. Yeah, in this ROM hack, though, I'm pretty sure the, the, the developer knew that the Air One would immediately start to target Girl and uh, try to defeat her as quickly as possible. Because uh, in the original, she only has 9,999 HP, which means one Ultima should be enough to kill her. But... Designer wasn't wouldn't take that. Uh, obviously, she has to be more resilient than this ROM hack, because with all ROM hacks, you have to make the game more difficult for some reason. I sort of understand why, but I really don't. Uh, figures she resists that. 
I should have figured. I should have crashed the Grand Train instead. And Faust is down. Of course, she has life three, so yeah, she's gonna come back up. Pearl Wind, which is exactly the same thing as Reiki, by the way. Royal Voice. Huzzah! No, you're not supposed to target him. Do not target the uh, man, because uh, if he dies, what girl will do is simply heal him. That's all she'll do. And I'm pretty sure girl resists all the elements, of course. However, could I have figured that out? Ow, that hurt. Zap Apple. Um, what's most quick? Uh, because the girl probably resists all the elements. I guess I'll just have Faust uh, do uh, Royal Voice. The problem is I can't I can't target Royal Voice. That's the issue. Ah, that's good. Yes, target her. Target the uh, crony uh, over that. Uh, Man, not her, Lu not him, Lulu. Ultima, that exists, and that is very useful. Still not dead, of course. I bet she has the more HP than the guy right now. Because that's obviously all, all final battles should be. Ultima, Osmos, Technique, as usual. Actually, I should cast Life 3 on uh, Faust again. She's kind of important. Okay, girl is down. That means only guy is left. He'll probably uh, get more offensive uh, now, but uh, we shouldn't be able to have to worry about it too much. Life 3. Uh... Yeah, life 3 Ultima, I guess. No, actually, no, he doesn't resist elements, so Flare will be enough. There's a nasty trick this guy will do when he dies, that's the thing. A very, very nasty trick. This, right here, calmness, instant kill! And of course, I should have figured! Diffuser removed Rarity's life tree so she didn't get to revive. Well, that means we won't get to be able to use Rarity in the final battle. Instead, we'll be using Celeste, who is actually pretty overpowered herself, so she should be fine. And, ah, uh, actually, you know what? That means uh, it's Team Alicorn that is going to go ahead and defeat Discord. At the very end. In a totally not uh, religious uh, background or anything. I'm sorry for stopping this right here, but that is one pathetic sprite for our final boss. Like seriously, the, the original Kefka final boss sprite was amazing, and this is the best vector the creator could come up to use? Ugh. Like ditch the chair, man. Life, dreams, hope. Where'd they come from? I'm already headed! These chains... I am going to destroy! <laughs> okay, uh, Discord will probably start with a fight with a pretty annoying Dane. I am almost expecting it right now. Any moment now, Discord. He's not doing it? Ah, uh, there we go. Fallen One. He always starts the battle with that. Thankfully, we have a uh, regen effects on, and uh, Faust is putting her Zap Apple effect on. I'm pretty sure the game creator super buffed this boss, of course, and I'm gonna wait for Faust to fully heal herself. Uh, I kind of hate that I completely skipped that awesome, awesome final battle music, by the way. Uh, I really wish you guys could just listen to it all the time. And uh, by the way, what am I doing? I'm gonna heal everyone with Faust. Because that's what she'd do.
cast life on yourself. And Bushido time! Uh, no, you know what? Just, uh, do this. We'll defeat you by talking to you very loudly, Discord! And he has a pretty decent uh, amount of uh, physical power in himself. Encounters every move, of course, or maybe... maybe, maybe not. What are you doing, Twilight? Ah, oh, right, she's absorbing magic from uh, Discord. Drain. No effect, Discord! Out of power, Flare! And the whole power of Holy! Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that, he probably resists Holy. You know what? Uh, let's just keep using Ansatsu. I kinda want to use Flurry right now, but I'd probably make things a bit too easy. Even though Discord's been buffed, I don't think he's been buffed all that much, and even if he has been buffed, he can't be tougher than this Czar Dragon. Interestingly enough, uh, Kefka and uh, the final boss of uh, the original Final Fantasy VI uh, was actually kind of weak because uh, your character was super overpowered and it was just one enemy, but uh, he did have a, like, he had a super powerful spell he could cast occasionally, but he also had a, he could cast Ultima on a very specific time, and Flair doesn't work on him. Of course! Why would it work on him? And Holy will probably heal him. Oh, it didn't. Well, uh, okay, this is my problem here. See, guys, Comet is the exact as the Medio has the exact same animation as Comet for some reason. Also, here comes uh, Discord's ultimate attack, Yoner. Ah, oh, that's right. Twilight might equip the ultimate weapon. Hmm, this is strange. I was expecting some uh, special effects. Uh, or special status effects to be inflicted on us after Discord used Goner. Goner is uh, by far the most powerful of all the uh, magic uh, spells in the original Final Fantasy VI. The problem is that it doesn't, it doesn't pierce defenses, which is why it doesn't deal that much damage. In fact, in the Faust's case, it barely dealt any damage. Anyway, let's see if Flurry works on him. It does! Wow! Well, I guess I know how to beat him easily. Huzzah! He keeps trying to drain Lulu, but uh, Lulu is not going to have any of that. You know what? Forget it. Let's just unsatsu him. I'm fully expecting you to, you to use the Ultima on us, uh, Discord. Seriously, brain it. I can take it. Why does he keep casting drain? I don't get it. Like, it doesn't even heal him all that much. And that was kind of pointless of you to do that, Twilight. Maybe you ought to equip something that doesn't have an element attached to it. Uh oh, Fallen One again. Uh, let's try just a Falcon. I could really benefit from some healing right now, actually. Thank you for protecting her, uh, Faust. Drain. No magic left, Lulu, seriously? Probably not gonna help, but whatever. Faust is just protecting everyone right now, seriously. Uh oh. Yeah, this is what I'm kind of was concerned about. Uh, Discord's gonna use Goner immediately, and uh, Lulu, Twilight, and possibly Celeste will be down. Well, they all have, they all have life three on, so they should be fine anyway. But yeah, Lulu had life three. Thank you. Please use Cure three, Celeste. Or Faust is gonna use Zap Apple. You know, but just in case, I'm gonna. Cast Cure 
four on everyone anyway. You know, just in case Discord acts before Celeste does. You don't want to lose against the final boss, uh, final phase. Because uh, this isn't like modern games where they just uh, give you checkpoints and make you restart at the just the uh, final boss, uh, final phase. No, they make you go through the entire thing again. Flurry! It's actually possible to beat Discord, uh, no, not Discord, uh, Kefka in the original Final Fantasy VI in one attack. Or one uh, phase of uh, attack or something like that. Uh, basically, it involves uh, the magnet hoof and the uh, ultimate weapon and uh, super overpowered weapons and etc. etc. And yeah, as I expected, uh, Discord acted before Celestia did. He would have drained Celestia and possibly killed her. Well, maybe not, but that's what I was expecting. You know, I was kind of expecting more status effects from Discord. That's kind of my, dis my disappointment right now. He's not really using the uh, zombie uh, petrification uh, bullcrap that Cesar Dragon had on me. That's what I was expecting from Goner. Like, the buff Goner would have gone. But who knows, this final boss battle has always been always kind of easy, so not surprised it's still easy. Even when it's super buffed HP. Time to zap Apple! And I guess I'll summon Golem again. Huzzah! Uh, yeah! Probably a good thing I summoned Golem right there. Please cast Cure on everyone. Okay, this... We're getting in danger zone right here. Thankfully, Faust is extremely fast uh, with that uh, acting thing. And I probably should have cast Cure 4, actually. And now uh, we're getting Earthwall again. I'm yeah, here's the thing. I'm surprised uh, Discord's not using Havoc Wayne more often. That was one of uh, Kefka's more powerful moves to watch out for. And uh, Discord's not using it very often. And Faust is extremely fast. Very. I'm getting kind of tired of this final boss battle, to be honest. I want to talk about all the review I have for this game. That's the thing. Seriously, how much HP did the ROM hacker give you, Discord? We've probably gone through past 100,000 by now. Maybe the ROM hacker thought a million would be enough. Or basically 650,000 or something. Oh, what do you know? Discord can cast Grand Train. Basically Ultima. Of course, his version of Grand Train isn't all that powerful. They even get our characters down to half HP, to be honest. Ah, uh, finally. It's Lulu's uh, royal voice that finishes off Discord. What do you know? Lulu was tired of all that uh, abuse she was getting from the random enemies, constantly getting targeted by them. Also, a uh, very cool disintegration effect uh, from the original uh, design team. I always liked it. Well, I guess I should talk about the game right now, maybe? This is a pretty slow end. By the way, if you actually uh, kill yourself uh, while killing Discord, you'll actually go through his entire death animation and then... Uh, You'll have to go through your game over animation. It's kind of funny. It's breaking up! And there, Pinky and Scoots just arrive right at the very end. That's what it is. There's no time to lose. Airship's just ahead. Get moving, you fools! We need to get out of here! Twy! What's wrong? Magicite! 
Magic is becoming unstable. The espers, they no longer exist. You mean twice too? Follow me, every pony. I'll lead you out of here, even if it kills me. For those of you wondering why Trixie has so many lines, because uh, she's one of the four characters you have to bring, as well as Celestia and Dash. Uh, besides that, if you haven't like gone in Twilight on your team for the final battle, uh, she's gonna arrive in this cutscene just so she can do the few lines and everything. It's kind of something she has to do. Follow me, every pony. I'll lead you out of. Oh, I already said this line. Okay, now we're finally at the credits. Okay, so... My first complaint. I don't like the new sprites. Mostly for the monsters. I, I guess uh, it, it can't be... Uh, it's inevitable because of the art style that Faust did with the Friendship is Magic. Uh, the author probably wanted to respect that, but... Uh, I don't like how different it looks compared to the uh, original Final Fantasy VI sprites. Especially because uh, there's, I think it caused a lot of pellet issues because of that. And... Let's face it, the original art is a lot better than the new sprites. Especially that final boss uh, Discord uh, sprite, I didn't like it at all. Why did he, was he have to be sitting on the chair? I just don't get it. AJ, as... Uh, original character, do not steal. Yeah, Cyan Garamon, that's the original name. She wasn't called that at all, but I guess the ROM hacker didn't feel like changing that. Applejack, would you be a deer and press that switch? Ah, oh, shoot. I just knew I'd have to hit one of these eventually. Uh, regressive character development. Seriously? This uh, ROM hack has finally jumped the shark. Seriously, by this time, AJ finally should have already known about getting over all that machine. And I forgot to read that line. She just said something about uh, that's how she does it at the farm. Dash as Setzer Gabiani or Gabiani. He made a cameo in one of the Kinder Hearts Kingdom Kingdom Hearts games, and apparently some people didn't like it. Wait. Let's go that way! The Wonderballs always started the loops on the right! I don't know why you still look up to the Wonderball stash. Firefly, I'm starting to sound just like you. Speaking of the Wonderballs, we never saw them! Period! Not even Sora, not even Spitfire, not even anyone. Celestia as... Edgar! Oh, Edgar! I, I kept calling him Edward for some reason. I guess I completely forgot about his uh, original name. And Lulu as Sabin Rene Figaro. It pained us to leave thee, Celestia. Truly it did. But it was Thy Destiny to be Canterlot's quill, and us this sword. Let us protect thee, sister, so thou might write a new chapter of whatever she said. I think it was a poem, something like that. By the way, if you didn't bring Lulu, uh, this segment doesn't happen. After all, Lulu is an optional character. Scootaloo as... Mog. I really do like this ending credits music. It adapts for every character's theme. It's a kind of care and love that most games don't get. Ow! My wing's stuck! Here, watch it. Really? How does this have any relevance to uh, Scootaloo? Shouldn't she have said it wanes or something? Mog didn't really get uh, all that great of a segment. That's the thing. And Derpy as Umaro, who really didn't get any development at all in the original game. Neither did Derpy, but she had some foreshadowing at least. Despite the fact that I don't really like the personality uh, reference uh, the Ramaka used uh, at all. 
dumb door! Stand aside! Time to show you why they called me Hurricane! Yeah, if I recall that uh, Derpy, uh, no, Umaro didn't talk in the original. It was not in vain, Your Majesty. I'll return. I will return to Canterlot, and I will return to your Royal Guard. Man, these lines are happening faster than I expect. Also, Faust as Gogo, -Go, who no one really knows who really is. No one really knows if it's a man, a woman, beast, or alien, or whatever. But the character is really powerful when used properly. That's the thing. Time to show your origins, Gogo -Go, Faust. Both buttons have to be pressed simultaneously. Faust, watch Trixie and do exactly what she does. Blink, blink. Hey, Faust. She can fly. She can fly out of there. Sheesh. I guess they were just trying to be funny in the end, but... Because they're supposed to be making an epic escape, uh... That doesn't really look like it. Also, creepy eyes. With creepy mouth. Uh-oh! My pinky sense is tingling! Quick, hop on this rock! Let's ride the rocks. This is totally unsafe, guys. Don't do this at home. Race you to the bottom! Whee! Come on, Pinky, don't throw ponies onto rocks. Bloom as... Luck Cole. I don't know how to say Luck's name, probably. I, I think it's Luck. Luck? Luke? Lick? I'm just purposely screening it up right now. Also, Trixie has Celeste Chair. Come on, this floor is about to break apart! Uh, I imagine if you didn't bring Bloom for this scene, uh, it doesn't happen quite the same way. Uh, Apple Bloom, help! Listen, I... I never... Trixie, we'll have a whole lifetime to talk. Just focus on getting out of here first. Apple Bloom... Thanks for saving my life. Platonic? Really, Rom Hacker? Just make it romantic. Siege. I don't care if it's a pretty crack ship pairing. The original couple was like that. Also, Twilight as... Tara Brantford. I think this is the final presentation of a character. No, actually, no, it was a flourish I too. Father? Twy, we must part now. We espers will disappear from this world. Forever. But if the mortal part of you is very strongly attached to something or someone, you will probably be able to remain this world as a normal unicorn. Normal? Really? That is such a politically incorrect word to use sometimes, you know, God buddy. So just say average. I'm being sarcastic, guys. By uh, words! I'm being sarcastic, guys, by the way. Sweetie Belle as... Realm Aroni. That is such a weird last name. Especially because uh, her grandpa is actually... I think I think she's related to... I think she's related to the uh, Stragomagus, maybe? I'm not sure. Rarity, stop goofing around! Sorry, sweetie. I simply can't find my hoofing. If you fall behind again, I'll have to sing for you. No! Anything but that! Wait, actually, no. I think she said draw for you or something. But you know... Oh, write a song. Just once I'd really like to write a nice song for you and sing in front of everyone. Sweetie, would you really do that for moi? I gotta stop doing commentary... Uh, commenting on stuff that, that I should really be reading quickly. 
Also, I think this is the very last one. Flourish Eye as Shadow. Double Shuriken onto the apple. I always thought this animation was really hard to see. And the ROM hacker obviously decided to change this segment too. Angel, you can't stay. Mom, I failed you. I've killed so many innocent creatures. I don't deserve to live. I'm not leaving you here, Flareshy. We all have regrets, and I'm not gonna let this one be mine. Yeah, originally a uh, shadow actually did stay uh, while the Discord tower would collapse. He did. He does die, no matter what uh, you do with the dream sequences. But uh, Romacher wouldn't have a Flourish Eye die, of course, so she gets saved no matter what. And of course, uh, I forgot all about the Rarity segment. No, no! A true lady never gives up! Gotcha! Wahaha! I was totally expecting that. Yeah, that was the. Uh, Struggle slash rarity as final segment was uh, that. No, I don't really count the and you segment as the actual final segment. A lot of games do that, and I understand why. It's the kind of a niche thing you do for when you have a really small audience. Also, the credits are totally not finished yet. Come with me! Suddenly, a flying animation for Twilight. The last piece of Magisite! Why? Get your flank up here! I don't want to be the best by default! Twy! Last chance! Get up here! Sonic Rain Boom with the uh, Falcon, maybe? Oh, right, and uh, finally, uh, I like how you have to infer what the characters are saying here. At least until you see this image and it's obvious what's going to happen. Come on, Bonbon, bon, breathe. Gotta hang in there. What is wrong with Pinky? She looks really weird. I guess she's hanging by the border? For a while longer. Just a little longer. Where's Twy? You know, I gotta be honest, uh, I like how this uh, game is trying to make it sound as if uh, Twilight didn't survive, but it's not being overly dramatic about it because of uh, the system limitations. In a modern game, this would have looked a lot cheesier, I gotta be honest. Pretty good, Dash. Didn't I say it before? These are the fastest wings in the world. I'm pretty sure this is called a Falcon. Well, anyway, now for the actual credits. But yeah, that's uh, finally the end. So, back to the complaints I had. Uh, I already said that I didn't like most of the sprites. And I understand why some of them looked like they were, but... I don't like that the... Uh, it's mostly the monster sprites I didn't like, the ones that got changed, because uh, they caused some palette errors among uh, other enemies, and uh, most of them weren't that great. They just looked uh, too different compared to the actual original Final Fantasy VI sprites. Besides that, I don't like... I like some of the gameplay changes. You fixed a lot of the... Uh, like, uh, Final Fantasy VI, uh, the original game, is a pretty broken game. There's lots of stuff that uh, doesn't work as intended. For example, blind, it doesn't actually do anything, it doesn't actually make a character miss. And this is largely because uh, the evade function doesn't work at all. Everything everything in an evade, everything involving evade in the original Final Fantasy VI, 
is related to the magic evasion. Which is why some weapons were extremely weak despite the fact they're supposed to be really strong in the original Final Fantasy VI, and some weapons were really strong despite spo supposing to be balanced in the original Final Fantasy VI. Repeating words! Ugh, besides that, what else do I have to complain? Oh yeah! Too many references! Like seriously, uh, even in the ending there were quite a few, uh, like, dialogue lists from the original uh, show where... Yeah, or do from the original Final Fantasy VI Magic show where onto, pasted onto the script of the Final Fantasy VI. I didn't like that. I would have preferred an original script that would have related to how the characters that uh, repl got replaced would have acted. Especially because the original Final Fantasy script is a lot better in many, many places. Like, the only places where the script was uh, honestly better was when the re references were honestly fit well, or the places where it was originally censored. Uh. But besides that, I kind of enjoy this uh, playthrough, especially especially because of you guys who, if any of you are still watching this, I like that uh, many of you joined with me uh, with the polls. I, it was kind of a thing I just did uh, after a while because I, because uh, if you guys recall, at the very very start of this LP slash playthrough, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to hear me comment uh, or voice the characters every every now and then, but basically only one person actually responded to that. So I kind of tried to hold more polls to see if you guys could join with me about how I should like uh, what what I should do in the playthrough, and I thought to like make something simple for you guys to decide. Like, uh, should I do this first? Should I use this character? I hope to implement this stuff in future games I'll play. But uh, the truth is that this worked especially well with an RPG because of how there's multiple characters to choose and multiple paths to do. So I'm not sure if that'll happen. But if it does, I will use that opportunity to do that. Whew. Well, I enjoyed this game, but it's mostly because of how I enjoyed the original Final Fantasy VI. Some changes I didn't agree with, some changes I did agree with. Overall, some stuff could have been, been improved, but some stuff uh, could have been done better, I guess. Mostly, it's awkward adapta adaptations and uh, awkward sprite transitions that really should have uh, been looked at another time. But I can understand that some people just don't know how to, like it's their first time actually hacking a game and they're trying to figure out how things go, how things work out, and they're looking at guys and they have to resort to simple stuff to get what they want done. And in the case here, I think the ROM hacker did a fairly decent job. Now my final complaint. Beefing up HP on bosses is not how you make it more difficult, it just makes things more tedious. I understand that the original Final Fantasy VI was really easy in the world of Rune, but what is wrong with that? It, I don't mind that it was easy, it was very entertaining. Giving Discord 100 million HP wouldn't have made him any more difficult, considering uh, I beat the Cesar Dragon, but you know... Considering RPGs aren't very good when it comes to difficulty balance when they're designed in a certain way. The most difficult part was this uh, Let's Play was either, for me, it was either the Cesar Dragon fight or the Magic Tower fight. The reason why the Magic Tower fight was so difficult was, well not the Magic Tower fight, the Magic Tower itself was so difficult was because uh, you were so limited to like using only one thing. And because of that you had to like think outside the box to figure out how to survive the environment. I wish more RPGs implemented that kind of like uh, strategy elements where you're a lot more limited than usual and you have to figure out how to use uh, other, resources, other resources than your usual ones to get past the current stage of uh, the story. Ugh, my throat is so sore right now. Talking for two hours straight. Why does it look exactly like Twilight? Twilight? Twilight, you have some explaining to do. Twilight, what did you do? It was you all along, huh, Twilight? I should have known. Bomba was lying to the very end. Three more minutes, and uh, that'll be it for my commentary. Fortunately, uh, the credit sequence is finally almost over.
Yeah, I really do love this segment though. There's no dialogue, there's no ending, you have to end for everything. And there's beautiful music playing along and the characters, they're doing the short animations that uh, you have to infer what they're talk, well, they're thinking about, what they're like uh, interacting with. These jokes work better in the original, of course, but still. And the plants just change. Everything's all life is returning once more. And Cadence makes one last appearance at the very end. Oh man, the fan service is just so horrible in this episode. Worst episode ever! Also, I think I glitched out uh, some uh, places. Oh, whatever. Anyway, uh, future plans. I don't think I'll be let's play another game uh, quite recently, but uh, I do have some plans to make some uh, other LMP Flash games, getting everything over with. Also, Twilight's Main is really long, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, for the time being, I think I'll stick to one-time games for for quite some time until I can get things back uh, in pace. Maybe I'll get back to some other projects I should really uh, have been have finished by now. Uh, I might actually get back to my full-time job soon, so there's that too. So I might have to be a whole lot more limited too. I do have an idea what the next game I really want to play is. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say when I'm going to do it. What if I do eventually do it? Uh, it's not going to be as long as this, that's for sure. Well, uh, it's going to be over in a few moments. Both of my recording and everything, 45 seconds left. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, hope you all enjoyed this series, and I hope you all have a very nice day. See you next time.